The Big Hair Show. Live365.com. All right, it took the band fronted by my guest here 20 years to get back to Raleigh, North Carolina for a show last December. And now I, I guess they're making up for it with what will be another legendary night this Saturday, December 7th at the Lincoln Theater. Kix is in concert, and I've got frontman Steve Whiteman on the Big Hair Show. Hey, Steve. Hi, Mark. How are you tonight, buddy? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. First of all, thank you so much for taking the time to be on with us. And I got to say real quick, Steve, the last time uh, I had a chance to talk to you, you were uh, with your other band, Funny Money, and we brought you down to Raleigh. It was like 1999. I with, remember that. Yeah, with uh, WRDU, I was with at, at yep. the time. It was the first time you guys, or, or you had played you know, Raleigh since the early 90s. And I tell people this story to this day that uh, you know, out of all the folks I've talked to over the years, Steve Whiteman told me the coolest thing after that show. You said, Mark, Thanks for keeping the music alive. And I have always remembered that because I love kicks from back in the day anyway. And for Steve Whiteman to tell me that, that meant a lot. Well, that, that came from the heart because, you know, we were all at, at a point where this music was being flushed and we, we were all struggling. All the bands from that whole genre was just totally uh, kicked out of the party. So yeah. you know, the, the few little spots that kept it alive, it was, it was really appreciated. And it showed... The fact that we, you know, we traveled from Maryland to North Carolina to do a show down there, and it went really well because people like you were still into it and getting the word out. So it was, it was heartfelt. Raleigh has had just this love affair with Kicks for so long, and I got to ask you, Steve, a band like Kicks, so you had a good handful of uh, hit singles back in the day, you know, respectable album sales, but certainly not to the level of. You know, you think you're Bon Jovi's or your rats. Oh, or, I, I you know. totally get what, what you're saying, so and, and I totally agree with you. I mean, it's, uh, it, it, it really blows my mind that, that we're resurging right now and actually doing better than we ever did. I think uh, the time that, that has lapsed have given people a chance to get turned on to it. And, yeah, back in the day, I mean, we were, you know, the, the most we ever did was open for people in arenas. That's about as high as we ever made it. We yeah. had one what I would call a hit record with MTV success and, and radio success, but everything else before that was just all blood, sweat, and tears on the road promoting and, and doing it all on our own. So I totally get where you're coming from, but Raleigh, for whatever reason, adopted us along with other pockets in the country. There were other areas in the country that, that once they saw our show, they, uh, they couldn't get enough of it, and Raleigh was one. And, and we used to play North Carolina, probably about six cities in North Carolina and, and loved coming down there because the people were so great, and so into it. So getting back there this coming weekend, we look forward to it. The show that the kicks put on uh, last year at the Lincoln, that was, like I said earlier, the first time the band had been here in, in 20 years. I don't have words uh, for how awesome that show was. And, and kicks just brings out the stage props and, and the balloons at the end. I mean, everything you would yeah. expect from a kick yeah. show. And you guys did it on the Lincoln. So I'm super excited that we've got you coming back here again to wrap up the year. Now, you know, a year ago, you guys were kind of promoting, I guess, your, your live album at the right. time. Can you tell us, are, are you actually working on what might be a Kix studio album? Yeah, it's the recording process is actually finished. We're in the process of mixing right now, and we're, we're going through a little bit of a business uh, negotiation, so um, I, it, that could delay the, the release of the record, but there's definitely a, an album that is finished in the can, being mixed, and as soon as we can work out all the details, we hope to get it out early next year. You've done the Monsters of Rock a couple of times. You got that coming up again, right? That's coming up in March, I believe, yeah. Yeah, that's that's on the way. And and you're the only band to play the M3. And I finally, and Steve, I'm, I'm uh, embarrassed to admit this, but uh, this year was the first time that I finally was able to uh, arrange to get up there to Columbia, Maryland and see, oh, cool. the, see the M3. And that is... That is such an awesome uh, place up there. But you've got, uh, I hear, a, a pretty special gig uh, after you play Raleigh, obviously, uh, for New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. We're going to Whiskey A Go Go in Los Angeles. How cool um, is that? That's pretty cool. You know, I, I'm, every, it, it's a prestigious gig. But honestly, I mean, Kicks played the, 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 the Whiskey years ago. Oh, yeah. I think we may have opened for Guns N' Roses. When we were promoting our third album on a major record label, we're opening for an unsigned band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we opened, 
and a lot of people who were in tune with what Kix was doing in the Los Angeles area came a little later to the show and found out that we had already played, and they were a little, they were a little PO'd about it. So uh, every show that we did after that show in Los Angeles, we headlined. So cause the whiskey's it, it's got a little bit of history for us, but you know, honestly, it's just it's just a little dive bar in Los Angeles. <laughs> It ain't that big a deal, but the play there on New Year's Eve is. You guys are just so incredible in concert, and I gotta say, I mean, for those of you that, for whatever reason, missed the show last year, there weren't too many of you because this is pretty much a packed house. Uh, make sure you are at the Lincoln Theater this Saturday, December 7th. Kicks headlining the fourth annual Cliff Jackson Memorial. Get ticket info or, or find out what's going on with the show, lincolntheater.com. Steve Whiteman, front man of Kicks. Once again, Steve longtime fan as so many other people in Raleigh, North Carolina and, and the whole uh, Southeast here are and uh, so looking forward to seeing you in concert this Saturday at the link and thank you so much Steve. I thank you and thank you for all the kind words and we really look forward to seeing a lot of old friends in the Raleigh area so hopefully they're all going to come out we're going to be able to have a whooping party after the show. Mark Arson's Big Hair Show. Party on Wayne! Party on Garth!